Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Joseph Albert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here to call your attention to what I think is a really interesting article uh, in this month's uh, AJM. Uh, this article came from the uh, Cardiology and Internal Medicine Group at the University of Texas in Galveston, um, and they looked at a large VA population uh, looking at men uh, over the age of 40, some of whom were using uh, PDE blockers, that is sildenafil or tadalafil because of erectile dysfunction or sometimes to help with urination. Um, and then they compared them with eight characteristics, age and, and so forth, uh, to a group of men who were not taking it. Interestingly enough, the patients who were taking the PDE blockers had less heart attacks. Uh, and so uh, over time. Um, now, it's not such a big surprise because when the PDE blockers came out about 20 years ago, it turns out they cause coronary artery vasodilation. In other words, they increase the blood flow to the myocardium. So that uh, uh, you know might help to prevent blood clots from forming in the coronary arteries leading to a myocardial infarct. In any case, uh, uh, there was fear at the beginning with these drugs. Oh, people with heart disease are going to do badly when we lower their blood pressure a little bit with these drugs. It turned out that was not the case, that they were totally safe, even in patients with heart failure. So uh, again, some more uh, reassuring information that these drugs uh, uh, are, are effective and that they do uh, actually reduce cardiovascular events with time. Please stay in touch with us uh, through all of our social media uh, and also, of course, on our website. See you next month.